Welcome to the series Writing for Games. In this video, I'm going to discuss narration as part of a subseries on dialogue. We create dialogue for two purposes communication between characters and informing players. More traditionally, when we think of dialogue, we think of communication between people. When we put it in a stage setting for plays and musicals, we have communication between people, but we also have informing the audience. When we're discussing video games, that audience is players. So not only are we writing how people are talking, the speech between them, but we're also simultaneously informing players about the world. Dialogue is presented in boxes, like is shown currently on the screen, often the bottom third of the screen, but sometimes the middle of the screen. For the best presentation, we generally limit each dialogue box to around 20 words or less. Some games allow a little more, some games allow a little less. Now, multiple sentences, generally about two or three. When we're just speaking about narration, we're considering narration within the games, we need to think about perspective. Who is speaking? From when? We're delivering information. This is a dialogue. But who is giving it? And where is it going? And from when is it appearing? Let's look at two different examples. In the game Final Fantasy X, it opens with a narration from the core character, Titus or Titus, depending on your point of view, and for much of the game, he provides narration from his perspective. He is the perspective from which we are getting the information about what is going on. So we only see what he previously experienced. From a certain point, and then back up to the point that he is narrating from, and then the game then continues. So the perspective is from the central character. We see what he saw previously. In Bastion, we see a similar setup. We're getting information as players that is being described from a future point in time of the current character. The character is describing the past, but the player is experiencing things in the present. And this creates kind of a really interesting narration effect. The narrator is a character within the world who is giving information, but we are receiving it in a slightly different format. Narration often describes previous events. We see this in Final Fantasy X and in Bastion. This allows for a disconnection between the present player actions and past descriptions, as we see in Bastion. In the game The Stanley Parable, we create really humorous situations where the in-game narrator will describe a possible future actions as if they are the past. And the player can then follow them as if they are describing and following through of past actions, but also ignore them and create really humorous disconnections between player actions and past description. Narration also allows us to describe a past a player does not know. Many games begin with narration to help explain its lore. In the game Mass Effect 1, it opens with a short narration describing its central technology. It has a paragraph and then a couple of sentences in describing the Mass Effect. Here's what's going on in this world. Here are the important technology breakthroughs, the mass effect that allows faster than light travel. In the Fallout series, nearly every game opens with an opening narration describing the past. Here's what the world was like. Here's what it is now. It also nearly always includes the phrase, war, war never changes. And this helps set up that war is an expectation of this world, that there will be conflict. And this helps, again, place the character within the world. So let's summarize what we've looked at in this video. Dialogue, narration, can be a very useful tool to deliver information to a player. When we're interested in explaining the past, here is the previous information that happened that you need to know to make actions. Narration can be very good. It also allows us to disconnect from a particular character. We can explain things, as in the case of Mass Effect in the Fallout series, to a player to help them understand the world and then progress from there. We can also, if we want, attach a perspective to a particular character, as in Final Fantasy X and Bastion. We can set the character in the world and then have them explain things as they understand it to the player. In either case, we're still using dialogue. Not only is communication happening between characters, for the most part, but we're also informing the player. Keep thinking about these two core audiences as we move into future videos. 
Again, information between characters, but also information to the player at the same time. Thanks for watching.